What's up, guys? Welcome to Costa Rica. What's up, guys? Welcome to Dos Bros, and today we're finally going to Costa Rica. That's right, guys. We're finally going to the beautiful Central American country of Costa Rica. This is a five and a half to six hour flight if you're coming straight from Los Angeles. And we are going to be headed to Manuel Antonio, but first, here's a preview on what you're going to see. And for those of you who are new here, we do travel adventures and tips and hacks. So don't forget to like and subscribe to not miss any great adventures. And follow our Costa Rica series on places to go like Tamarindo, Santa Teresa, Montezuma, Manuel Antonio, Samara and more. Alright guys, let's go. The Costa Rica airport was pretty nice, but first we have to go get our car. The company we got a car from is pretty good. Check out our channel to figure out where we got our cars and how did it go. We'll show you how not to get and the famous scams that they have and the rental cars. Because for a lot of people, this can be the first problem that you get uh, once you get to Costa Rica with all these scams going on. But we'll show you how to avoid them. And guys, as you can see, we are driving at night to Madan Antonio, but there's a reason why are we taking this drive at night. We almost got mugged in Costa Rica and we'll tell you all about it because we were going to stay in an Airbnb but there was one mistake that we did because even though Costa Rica is one of the safest countries in Central America you know it's like any other country you gotta watch out so we made one mistake especially because we arrived at 2 a.m. in the morning so we'll tell you all about it later we hope that we see you in the subscribe list so you don't miss that story as you can see from San Jose the road is very nice and the scenery and this drive just keep getting better and better it was so beautiful Baby, we should never sleep. We finally arrived at our destination in Manuel Antonio, the Natural Pacific Suites. This place is just a 5 to 10 minute drive to Manuel Antonio National Park, which makes it very convenient. Here's another option if you want to stay closer to the beach and Manuel Antonio National Park. You can either stay at this one, which is Manuel Antonio Hotel, which is right in front of the beach. But alright guys, time to head out to Manuel Antonio. And one of our tips is that on your way, you'll find one of these fake parking people. Yes, there is parking, but they will charge you more. When they get in front of your car, don't open your window, say no with your hand, and keep on going. There is plenty of parking next to the entrance of the park. You will pass by some local souvenirs on your way to the entrance. This is the perfect spot to support some local families. Tell me we will find a better way. Just tell me that it's all. And look at this guys, if you guys don't have a car and you literally want to stay next to the National Park, the Hotel Zambara is two steps away from the entrance, it could be a great choice. And you know when you hear about Manuel Antonio and they tell you that you can be walking next to the monkeys, it literally means walking next to the monkeys. Most likely as soon as you come in you'll be greeted by these cute little guys. And stay with us guys, we're gonna give you tips and hacks on how to do Manuel Antonio National Park and have the best experience. The first thing you should know is that the park is closed on Tuesdays. So except from Tuesdays and holidays, the park is open from 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. every day. You can do the park by yourself or uh, hire a guide right at the entrance or just prepay for a guided tour. You can do this when you reserve your tickets online. And here's our first tip, guys. If you can afford to uh, pay for a guide, nothing wrong with that. But if you don't, uh, don't worry, you'll still get to see everything on the park. The benefit of having the guide is that they know the park very well and you can find stuff faster. But if you don't, uh, just uh, walk around, see where all the people are gathering. And that means that there's something in there and just go check it out. This guy was so cute, guys. And keep an eye, guys, because there's creatures everywhere. And to reserve your entrance to the National Park, you had to go to this website. We'll also put the link in the description, but you had to make an account and then go to reserve your tickets. Make sure to do this a few days before you come to Manuel Antonio National Park, because if it gets too crowded, you might not be able to get in at the time that you want. So just go to this website, select your national park that you want to go to and the time of entrance and the date, and you'll be all set to go. We recommend that you do the early time because uh, that way you take advantage of everything that there is to see and do in Manuel Antonio National Park. 
once you've done that uh, just scroll down and this is where you will pick your tickets uh, there are uh, local admissions and foreigner admissions the entrance to the park is $16 per adult and $5 per children. Ages 2 to 12, 2 and under are free. This will also be the area where you can select if you want a guide or tour. Then all you have to do is just select the number of people that are coming in your party, check the price and pay, and then once you've done that, just print it and you will ready to go. Make sure to take a printed copy, just in case your phone is not working. Manuel Antonio National Park has three amazing beaches. Playa Espadilla Sur, which is nice for grown-ups because it has stronger waves. And Manuel Antonio Beach, where the waves are not as strong as here, so it's good for kids and families. And the turquoise water here makes it look just like paradise. Check it out. And hey guys, for your convenience, there are restrooms and showers near the beach. Can't get any better than that. You have restrooms, you have the trees, the greens, and right in front of the beach. It just can't get better than this. I don't know guys, maybe we should just call this Paradise Beach Glamping. And speaking of Paradise guys, keep always an eye on the ground because you will find lots of lizards, iguanas, and other kinds of wildlife. Also, be careful when you guys uh, go around these parks and stay on the trails because there's cockadrills here too. So stay in the designated beach area or trail in the park. Also, be careful with the trees that have these little like green ball looking fruits. Uh, they are very dangerous in some places. They are called the tree of death. They are very toxic and can also cause very painful burns to your skin. And like we mentioned before, try to book your entrance to the park as early as possible. This will help you have time to do and see everything in the park and not be in a rush. And don't forget to bring plenty of water, just not in plastic bottles as they're not permitted in the park. You can bring a flask, that would be okay. And check it out guys, you guys want to see something nasty but it's just wildlife. And check it out, while we were watching this guy eat, he suddenly ran into the forest chasing something. And another monkey with a baby beat him to it. We were wondering what these guys were doing and then we realized they were eating something. And check it out, we think it was a lizard running for his life. But unfortunately for him, the monkeys were faster. That was kind of nasty at the same time, this guy was eating a lizard. Oh my god bro, poor lizard, she wasn't fast enough. It's the law of the wild, sis, the fastest will survive. Oh my god guys, would you look at that. He was just chewing it like it was a nice crunchy piece of pollo campero. You see some incredible stuff here. And when you're enjoying your uh, walk to the Manantolio Park, don't forget to bring a lot of sunscreen. You will need it. And check it out, guys. While we were trying to record something, don't be this guy. Did you guys see that? By throwing the water at the monkey, it could have made him more aggressive. When you come here, don't be this guy. That's right, guys. Have some respect for the wildlife. And make sure when you pass by this beach to not miss the view tower. It has a great view on the top. Here's another great tip guys, when you're here at the park, do not leave your bags unattended because the monkeys here like to go through your stuff and sometimes they will also take it and if they go in the jungle, you might never see it again. And while we were snorkeling, we heard some ladies screaming and we turned around to look and it was because a monkey had opened up her backpack and started taking everything out, her money, throwing it everywhere. And luckily for her, she had a guy help her and scared the monkey away, but he was throwing her passport and all her belongings all over the place. So be careful, guys. Don't leave your stuff unattended. And after a good time in one of the beaches, Manuel Antonio has showers and bathrooms for your convenience. So you can bring extra clothing just in case you need it. Or if you have babies or little kids, it's a good place to take off the sand. And remember, guys, some of these spots is not an easy hike, but we did see people from all ages. And of course, some were going faster than others. Make sure to bring plenty of water. And again, always be on the lookout because you might miss some amazing creatures. Or miss your path to the next Paradise Beach. The best parts to do snorkeling in Manuel Antonio is near the rocks because under the water, there's a lot of reef. Where there's a large diversity of marine life. The beaches here had little to no waves and it was the perfect spot to go snorkeling. The walking paths in Manuel Antonio are beautiful, and look who we found. And all because our Princess Mermaid was paying attention to her surroundings. This guy is also so cute. I love this place. Costa Rica, you are Pura Vida. That's right, Memory Princess. Pura Vida also means keep everything green and to live in peace with all the creatures around. 
All right, guys, let's go on this hike to see the view. We chose the stair path, which was one of the most difficult ones. But it also takes you through the jungle, which gives you more possibilities to check out wildlife. A lot of people were going the easy way, but they missed on a lot of great stuff. And the kids were having a grand time walking through the forest. They sure did. They were having a blast going through the path until we found more stairs. Mm, I don't know, babe. They seem to be doing pretty good. Maybe it was just us thinking that we still have 15 minutes to go in the stairs. Or maybe that was it. The good thing is that halfway there, there's a beautiful resting area with a view and perfect for some panoramic photos. And the trail also has some good spots for photographs. It's written on my heart and in my soul. We finally made it to El Mirador. But wait. How did you guys get here so fast? Hey, we've been watching this beautiful view for a bit. Oh man, I think you guys are getting too fast for this old man. But it was worth it. The view right here was amazing. And on a clear day, if you pay attention to your left, you can see lots of the Costa Rican coastline. Check it out. And sometimes watching the survival of the strongest here in the jungle is kind of cruel. Check it out guys, this bird was just smacking a hummingbird in the tree to try to eat it. And these are just a few things that you will see in nature here in Manuel Antonio. If you're just paying attention to your surroundings, you can see all the wildlife and everything that is going on around you. And those are little things that you might miss if you're not paying attention or looking around. And speaking of paying attention, when you go to the Slots Trail, this is the place where you have to pay lots of attention. These guys are really hard to find. They're always kind of sleeping just in the top of the trees and they make themselves look like uh, just part of the tree so they can protect themselves from other animals. These guys really make themselves hard to find. The only reason you are seeing these guys this close is because I'm zooming with the camera lens, but he was really high up there. It was really hard to find them. And while we were trying to find some slots around the trees, we also came across some beautiful birds in the area. And that was the end of our trail. We hope that you enjoyed this walk through the Manuel Antonio National Park with us. It was a long day, but it was totally worth it. And it was nice to treat ourselves with the fresh coconut water at the end of the park, where we also walked through the souvenir stores to support the locals and pick our favorite thing to take back home. And after a great day at Manuel Antonio National Park, we were really hungry. So we walked to the beach and found the soda named the Mai Tai. This place will be our dose road recommendation for lunch to fill up the gas tank. And of course, with these delicious choices, the gas tank was filled and ready to go. We ended this day with nothing but hearts for Manuel Antonio. And on our last sunset at Manuel Antonio Beach, we got to enjoy a beautiful rainbow. recommend doing and Manuel Antonio is watching one of the sunsets on top of one of those rocks right over there. It was a great view from the top of these rocks to watch this beautiful sunset, a perfect way to end our stay here at Manuel Antonio Beach. And before we left the Manuel Antonio, we took a 15 minute ride to the city of Kepos to check out the Malecon that everybody will talk about it here. In this city, you will see more locals, but it was a great walk along the beach in the Malecon. And from here, you can also walk to the marina, which is another great place to see. So if you have time, don't forget to check out the city of Kepos and come take a nice walk either in the morning or at sunset in the Malecon. All right, guys, hope you guys enjoy this video. Dos bros, we, we out. Bye-bye, brother. See you in the next video.